Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is early afternoon. Yep, we're out of the morning now. It's actually almost one o'clock, go figure. I've got Monroe here. She's still in her sleeper. <laughs> we're having a little bit slower start to the day. I still, of course, got up and went and took my bar class this morning, got that out of the way. And now I'm home spending some time with Monroe. So I figured today's a nice day just to stay comfy and warm. So I'm just going to change her into a different sleeper because, well, it's dreary out. It's cold. It's just, it's just how we have weather here in central New York. It's just, it is what it is. I just have to be okay with it, unfortunately. So I'm just going to keep her in some warm, comfy, cozy outfits. And so today's going to be a sleeper outfit day. And we're just going to kind of roll with that because I just plan on being home today. I don't have any plans to go anywhere this afternoon. So I will just enjoy spending time with her and watching videos and doing baby stuff, which I love. I don't get to do this very often and just have time for me. So I'm enjoying this thoroughly. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed the videos. <laughs> I love some of the comments on the video I did last night. <laughs> um, you know, it's really, you know, talking about silicone is really an interesting conversation. I think people, um, collectors have different thoughts on it. All different thoughts on it. Depending on your preferences, depending on um, what you've had in your past collections type of thing. Just, I think it just can range. So people's thoughts on what's soft versus what isn't, what they prefer and what they like and what they don't like. Um, I think that it varies. And I think that's also what makes the dog collecting world so fun simply because we all have different preferences and like different things. Cause I mean, geez, how boring would it be if we all wanted the same things and there was no variety. And I know I would be bored. I think having, you know, especially my perception of things and how I view what I want for my collection is probably very different than many people's thought process on it. And, and the reason why is because I, I don't like to have the popular sculpts. Um, I, I've been that way with Reborns when I, when I was collecting Reborns. I never wanted to have the same kit that I would see on literally everybody else's channels. It, would, it was actually something that would bother me. And I have sold on dolls because I would see them on several other people's channels. And it was just a very popular, not that I didn't like the sculpt, I'm just more of a collector that wants to have the, you know, the more unique, less seen, I guess, maybe even less popular um, kits and sculpts at times because, or knowing that there's less of them, having more of a limited number of them out there. I don't know what it is about seeing like the same doll on like everybody's channels. That's, I think that's, um, that happened with, um, geez, which... Which one was that? Oh gosh, it's happened numerous times over my years of collecting. I think one of the reasons why I've gotten away from Reborns, not only because I, I just, I like the softness and feel of silicone. I think the realism that you can get with the feel, especially of a silicone you can't get with a Reborn, is that also because the, the popular kits, everybody ends up wanting and having, whether they're Reborn differently, of course they all look different, but ultimately, you know, it's the same sculpt, you know, it's the same face, you know, it's the same features. And I think that's partially why I've kind of migrated towards silicone more over the years. I think that's what's ultimately led me there. And then watching Erica's video, you know, in her discussion about, well, we talked about it, not even in her video, but um, having just one baby and you know, as I was thinking about it, she's got a little hair and it's like right in the crick of her little belly button and it was hard to get. Um, I was thinking about it and I honestly like, 
I don't, I'm not even sure what led me to having just one baby. I mean, I am really an oddball out when, and in the very big minority, when it concerns having like one baby, one doll that I focus my attention on. Most collectors are going to have at least a handful. <laughs> Most have a lot more than that. And that is how I started out when I was first collecting. I had, I just, the more the merrier, you know, I'd see another one I wanted and I'd bring it home. But that was when I was also just, you know, with, with Reborn. So, you know, they weren't, I wasn't spending that amount of money. And I, I honestly now just kind of looking back at it, I, I don't know what led me other than I think it was, I don't think it was one thing that led me down to one, having one full body silicone doll in my collection. I think it was several things leading to that. And I don't know. I, I'm pretty content. I do think it would be nice to have a sleeper in my collection. But that would be the extent of it. Like I just, the thought of having several dolls would really just not be something I would want. I just, I'm past that point in my collecting life. I just, I don't know what's made me content other than I really like her and I'm you know that helps I'm sure as being content with the doll you have but aside from that also I think your hair is messy um I'm just kind of I've I've experienced a lot of I've experienced a ton of dolls over the years and I've found that the grass is not always greener so and then having more than you know, even just, even if I have a couple dolls, having more than that was just way overwhelming for me. I just couldn't, I couldn't enjoy them. I felt like I was literally didn't know who to spend time with. And I just, I started losing, I started losing interest ultimately in the hobby itself when I had more dolls. Because I feel like there was an obligation to spend, you know, to do something with the dolls I had. And I think that's what it is. And I like the feeling of, you know, if I don't feel the need to do something with Monroe one day, it's not a big deal. It's not like I have thousands and thousands of dollars in multiple dolls. Because, you know, even if I go a couple of days without doing something with her, I end up always doing something with her shortly thereafter. I don't go usually more than a day without spending some sort of time with her. I just don't. <laughs> so, you know... I don't worry about it with her, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. There's many schools of thought there. This is a zero to three month size, and you guys can see that it's a bit big on her. And this is from Jules. This is a little horsey sleeper that I've had for quite a while, actually. I love it. It's really cute. And Jules, if you've never had this brand of clothing, their cotton is really soft. I buy their people clothes and their boots and things. They have... Um, are really lovely. They have they make lovely clothing. They make lovely um, shoes and things. But they also have really cute baby items that you'll occasionally they'll you'll see things from Jewels pop up on the children's salon site. But they have their own site, and you can find all sorts of cute stuff from them. But I just thought that, that would be cute for her today, and it's got the little stripes on the bottom of the feet. Very cute. Of course, I think anything is cute on this baby. I don't think she, I don't think there's anything that I put her in that I, that I like really, really hate. I might not care for it on her or something, but most anything I'm, I enjoy seeing her in, huh? <laughs> Sweet girl. But yeah, so there she is, guys. She's, her hair is a little messy, but she doesn't care. She doesn't mind. We'll probably watch some more videos this afternoon. It's just nice um, having the time just to do what I want. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be really anything, which is awesome. Which is awesome, huh, baby girl? You're just the sweetest little thing. So hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of seeing her. One thing I also noticed, you guys, um, do you guys ever look like at all profile, like all angles of your babies? Like especially like their facial profile? <laughs> I'm one who... When I get a doll, I don't know, I'm going to try to turn her so you can actually see her profile. 
a little bit better. Look at this little profile, that nose and the chin. She has the sweetest profile. I love how her profile is. Sometimes I've had dolls where I absolutely hated their profile and I sold them because I didn't like their profile because I look at them at all angles. It's like checking them out in every light in every way you can, just so you can see, you know, outside, do they look realistic as they do inside or do they look less realistic with um, artificial light, that sort of thing. Like I think about all these things and if I'm looking for the ultimate realism, I want to check out the baby from literally like every angle that I can. And that nose is so cute. Claire sculpted just a sweet little nose on this baby. <laughs> You're just cute, cute all over. But yeah, I'm one of those people that I like to check them out in the mirror. There's the mirror test. There's all profiles, side profile, front, tummy, backside, you know, all of the angles that you can see the baby. I love to check it all out just because I want to see how they look. So if I'm doing whatever they, if they look realistic in all angles, then I've achieved my goal of having a realistic looking baby doll. And hope that makes sense. But yeah, that's what we do, don't we? And I love your little profile. You're so sweet. But anyways, guys, that's it for, for now. I'm going to stop rambling. And um, I hope everybody's enjoying their Tuesday. And Monroe and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.